everyone, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today for this week's Friday Haul. It's Friday, March 10th. Hope everybody uh, had a great week and that you're doing well, feeling good. Um, everything is fine here. Thank you so much to everyone who uh, wished me well about my migraine last week. I feel much better and uh, hoping that continues. So uh, I did get some shopping done this week, of course, like every week. And um, yeah, let's get started. I wanted to show you a few things and give you some updates too at the end. So for the um, the first item is this paper pad from Michaels. I mentioned last week that Michaels got some new paper pads and um, I went to the, the one store that I usually go to did not have them out yet. So I went to a different one a little bit further away, but they usually have newer stuff out first. So um, I picked up one of them. They do have a special, or they did at that time, uh, buy one at regu regular price, get one 50% off. But I did have a coupon instead for 30% off a regular priced item. So I used that instead because I really just wanted one and that's a better deal anyway. So this is the one that I chose and this one is called Oxford Garden and it was $9.99, so with the 30% off coupon, it was $7. So I thought that was a really good deal. It's uh, 16 designs, three sheets of each, so it's 48 sheets of paper. And uh, they have some really pretty ones out, but this is the one that I really liked most of the papers in, so that's why I got it. I have to be, you know, kind of selective since I do have tons of paper pads. I don't, you know, I didn't need this one, but I, I just loved it, so I picked it out. So it has gold foiling in it. You could see the, the uh, foiling on the cover page. So let's go ahead and take a look. So the first page is this like very uh, subtle pinky print. It looks kind of like a damask or a wallpaper. So that's a really pretty kind of a neutral. And you know their paper pads are nice and thick. So three of those. And then next Hello, where are you? Okay, this is one of my favorite papers of this paper pad. So it's got like a sage green background and then the really pretty little flowers with gold centers and kind of like a like an aqua stem. So I just thought this was beautiful. I would love a whole paper pad in that. So three of those, of course. And then this one is kind of like a coral orange and it's got a, ver a lighter color uh, polka dot there. So very cute. Also kind of reads as a solid. So that would be uh, a great like carrot, actually a great uh, paper to use for carrots if you're die cutting. And then this one I thought was beautiful too. Obviously foiled and this has butterflies and flowers, just really pretty soft spring colors. It's got bees and ladybugs, moths. So I guess, yeah, those look more like moths and butterflies, right? But um, very, very cute. I like that a lot. Love spring kind of papers like that. This one is very pretty too. It's purple and it's got, it's kind of like um, half the paper has a print on it. So you could either cut it apart or use it as is. So really pretty. It's got like little hummingbirds there too. So, and other birds as well. It looks like a twall, you know, really pretty. I'm glad Michaels came out with new paper pads because for a while they were just kind of like, I don't know, nothing coming out. And then this is a really pretty plaid, kind of a light mustard color, I would call that. And then look at this one. Oh, speaking of toile, this is so beautiful. It's a farm print. It's got, it's like a creamy background with gold foiling. So it has horses and looks like, yeah, just like different farm scenes and trees, windmills. Oh, it's beautiful. Never seen anything like this at Michael's before. So that's really nice. And then there are these cut aparts. Good to make for cards or journaling, scrapbooks. You make every day sweeter. Sweet memories, you are loved, grateful. I like this one, that's really pretty. You make every day sweeter again. You are loved. It just has all the different colors together tags. 
do we get those? This one, it, it's solid, kind of a sage color, but it's a little bit mottled too. You can see that. So good complement to the printed papers. Oh, look at this one. How pretty is that? It's got that corally pink background with the different bouquets and those tiny little white flowers too. So pretty. Oh, love it. Really like this one a lot. The other one I liked was called like Sunny. It, I want to say Sunny Days, but I don't think that's right. It was something about the sun. And I liked a lot of the papers in it, but not enough to buy it. Here's another kind of like a, a subtle damask print, and this one's more of a minty green color. And then this print too, another coral pink color. It's got little polka dots around the uh, diamonds too, if you could see that. So that's pretty. And then we have more cut aparts. Really, really pretty. You are my happy place. Perfect for journaling here. XOXO. This is a label, Sweet Memories. Um, what does that say? Oh, happy day. You and me, happy together. Forever is made of moments like this. Just lots of journaling spots. So good to cut up and tuck into like mini albums. Another kind of model paper, and this one's purple. And this one's beautiful too. No foiling, but still gorgeous. It's got uh, sage green, like uh, greenery, and then little purple buds on the top. So it looks like lavender. Oh, it's so pretty. I think, nope, one more after that. And then there's that yellow with the gold, kind of like, I don't know, kind of like X's on there. But oh, so pretty. I think I said so pretty a gazillion times, but I really do think this paper pad is lovely. So that's it. And that one's called Oxford Garden. If you want to see them, you can't get into the store. Uh, they do have them online, so you could take a look at them. So yeah, seven bucks, not bad, right? And then uh, I also stopped at Michael's today because my <laughs> Beacon 3-in-1 glue, I was using it yesterday, and then this happened. Like the, the whole nozzle thing was breaking off. So I had to get some replacement glue bottles. So I picked these up. They were $3.99 for the four pack and then I used a 20% off coupon. Hopefully this will work okay because that glue is really thick. So I don't think these, let me take a look. I don't think the tips are one of those really thin, like, you know, needle kind of tips. I don't think that would work with this glue, but I, I couldn't really tell what it looked like in the store. So let's see off the little top hopefully there we go okay yeah that should that should be fine it's just like a hole like that all right so I'm gonna probably make a mess and transfer this to a couple of those glue bottles <laughs> but I didn't want to have to buy a whole new one yet you know Okay, so next I uh, ordered a few different digital paper collections from Aralami Ha Shop on Etsy, and that was because I saw Jill showing them in her Saturday Morning Makes. Hi, Jill, if you're watching. And if you use her coupon code JillMar15, uh, you'll get 15% off on the new paper collections that they have. So I, like I said, I got two of them. I got one called Springtime and one called Shabby Floral, and I will link them down below. Let me just show you what they look like. Okay, this is Springtime, and I like that she adds a margin with the name of the papers here, so when you put them away, you know exactly where they came from. So Springtime papers, you get three different files. This one has four uh, separate patterns on one page. So very, very pretty. Love those rosebuds. And then like there's gingham behind this one, stripes, polka dots. And then this is kind of like a window pane lattice kind of pattern. And there are polka dots on, did I say that? Polka dots on the gingham as well and on the stripe. So I love that, love the colors. And you also get this fi this file, which has two prints on one page, the the uh, lattice and then the polka dots, but just a, in a bigger uh, bigger piece. And then you get this one as well. So the same ones, just bigger. And this was um, two fifty, and then fifteen percent off. 
And then the next one is shabby floral and you get five different files with this one. This one's $2.95. So the first one, um, I cut off the other one, sorry, but I used it for a project, but I think it was, uh, it was like this, but pink. And this one is green with like a very subtle, um, like textured background and then the pretty pink florals on it. So that shabby floral. This is another page that you get. Love, love these. And then this one too. So all very similar, but different color backgrounds, slightly different patterns. And then this one. And then this one as well. So um, I printed them out. When I print out the um, digital files, I use this paper and I just bought another pack of it from Walmart. It's the Astro Bright Premium Smooth Card Stock, formerly Nina Bright Right bright white and this is 65 pounds and you get 80 sheets in there so this uh i think this is great paper and this was 597 for 80 sheets so not bad at all for a really good quality paper that prints really well so um, that's that's what i like to use for my well i use that for printouts and i use this for stamping too so I did get that at Walmart. And then um, I got something awesome, I think, in Walmart. This is my favorite find this week. I'm gonna just move these over a little bit. Um, you know how uh, a lot of us got those little memento dewdrop inks last week from, from Hobby Lobby clearance that look like this? So I got four packs of them and I was trying to figure out, figure out how to store them. So I went to Walmart and I thought, all right, these look great. Hopefully they'll fit and they fit perfectly. So let me show you what they look like. These are the large bead keepers and they're by the beadery and they have 32 compartments. And the little dew drops fit perfectly in there as well as the tiny little ink pads too. So look at that. How nice and neat is that? So this fits two of those packs of those, the chalk inks. And then I had some extras of the archival inks and the uh, letterets too. So I've just put those in the bottom. These, these compartments here are a little bit smaller, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna put there. But this fits perfectly and it's nice and slim. And when I bought these, they were $10 and something cents. But right before I made this video, I went on the Walmart website to get a link. And online, they're $6.97. So, uh, if you're looking for these, I think that's a great price. So I picked up two of them and I left the label on for now just so I could show you what they what they are. But look how nice and organized they are. Oh, I am so happy to have these like um, organized nicely because when I first took them out of the package, I put them in like a Dollar Tree basket, but they were like falling all over each other. And I know some of them would open and I would never be able to find the right color that I wanted. So this way I have all the colors just right accessible to me like this. And I think it'll be easy to store because it's so thin. I'll just put it in my cabinet with my other ink pads. And yeah, this way I could see exactly what I have. So definitely my favorite find this week. Again, I will link it down below in case you're looking too, because I know a lot of us did get those dewdrop ink pads. And even if you didn't get them uh, this go round, you probably have some anyway. So those were the two things I got at Walmart, this and the paper. Uh, let's see what else. Not too much else. I went to I went to Dollar Tree today. This is the only thing I really picked up there. Um, it's another pill pill organizer, but this one is really neat because, let's open it up and get my scissors again. It's stackable and it has different sections on each day for a day and night. So, okay, so it has this case and then you take these out. How cute is that? So there's Sunday with a side for a day and night. So this would be fun to use for, um, you know, like sending embellishments or wire wrap beads or sequins mixes or something to friends. You could just get these pictures off probably with some acetone, right? But uh, yeah, you can use this for your pills. So I thought this was really, really cute. I'd love the container for $1.25, great deal. So there's that. And I went to Marshall's 
Marshalls yesterday and I picked up a couple of things. Um, one decor thing, I got this wreath that I thought was beautiful and it's by Cottontail Lane and it was $7.99. Isn't that pretty? I like to use these for uh, bases of candles. So I'll probably put this in my dining room like on the table with a candle in the middle of it. It's got really pretty pastel colored like foam leaves and this is like a bottle brush tree. So I love that. I thought that was so nice. And then the last thing I want to show you was a shirt that I got from Marshalls as well. I found this in the men's section but it is for me. So it's a Hello Kitty, like, strawberry milk shirt. I had to get it. And uh, I don't know what that says. If anyone knows what that says, please let me know. And then the back looks like this, which has a, a nice big picture. And it says, I don't know, but drink it daily. I could read that. Kawaii, 100% Hello Kitty milk. So, oh, just so cute. Strawberry milk there down at the bottom. So I got this to wear, like, you know, with um, shorts or whatever to bed when it gets a little bit warmer out. But, oh, so cute. I love it. Actually, I might wear it in uh, out in public. Why not, right? So that's all from my haul for this week, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, I wanted to give you some crafty updates. Last week, I hauled the Lawn Fawn new stamps and dies, the little mice, uh, like the sewing little mice. And I did show this card on Instagram, but I thought I would show you guys too. So this is a card that I made, and I think it came out really, really cute. I used the, the stamps and dies with the little mousies, and I did some coloring. And then I had this die set in my stash that I got a long time ago that makes a quilt block. So I cut that out a few times to make, um, you know, like a coordinating uh, quilt block. And with the pieces that popped out, I made a few more, um, I think four more. Yeah, just in different combinations of the different papers. So this would make actually a really pretty quilt. <laughs> I love making quilts. Yeah, all those together. But anyway, back to the card. And then I used an embossing folder on some purple paper for the background. And this is going to go uh, to somebody whose birthday is this month. And yeah, isn't it sweet? I love it. I love this card. And on the inside, I put, uh, I did a little heat embossing for You Are So Amazing there. I actually used one of the new purple. See, I'm so organized here. I could show you exactly what ink pad I used. I used this one. Oops. This ink pad, um, this dew drop one, grape jelly, and I stamped it and then sprinkled some clear embossing powder on top and then heat embossed it to uh, so it would you know be nice and shiny there and not smudge or anything. And this is a lawn fawn die too, just to make a little like it's supposed to be like a bee trail, but I thought it kind of looked like stitch lines too for the sewing theme. And this is a die I used from uh, the Medodo store on AliExpress. So it came out adorable, I thought. So I wanted to show you that. Love that stamp set. And the, the dies, they worked out so well. Um, like I said last time, I usually just stamp things like this on one page and you know make a scene kind of. But I like that you could cut these out and just kind of sprinkle them around your card. Um, you know, just something different for me anyway. And let's see, what else? Uh, I'm gonna have a Saturday morning makes video this week. I got a design team package in from Adorn It for February's Recipe Stamp Club, so I'm working on projects for that. So come back for Saturday. Uh, I have some KS Craft uh, projects that I'm working on. I got that design team package too, so some really cute things uh, that will be coming soon from that. And I also wanted to say thank you so much to everybody who uses my referral link to order products for um, from Scrap Diva Designs because apparently a lot of you have and I really appreciate that. That I'm, I'm surprised and just very thankful. So you guys are the best. I really appreciate your support all the time. Your comments and just like things like that, a thumbs up, just a, you know, um, a, watching my videos. I really appreciate it. So I just wanted to uh, say that to you guys. And I think that is it. Yeah, uh, let's see, what's happening this weekend? I don't think too much. I, got, I have a lot of crafting to do, so that's always good. And yeah, 
I guess that's it. So I'd love to hear what you guys are up to. I will be back, like I said, on Saturday with a Saturday morning makes. I hope you can come back and please give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And I would love it if you'd stick around and subscribe if you're not. Thank you to everyone who always supports me. I really can't say how much I appreciate you because it's a lot. And I will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.